Welcome back. My name is Janet Branson, and this week, Calvary's Daily Doses revolve around true self-care. Yesterday, we talked about the importance of sleep. And today, we are talking about exercise. Oof, I just said a dirty word, exercise. Exercise, as defined by Google and the Oxford Dictionaries, is activity requiring physical effort carried out to sustain or improve health and fitness. When I think of exercise, I think of working out, running, lifting weights, sit-ups, push-ups, biking, rowing, you know, a structured activity that will leave you sore and sweaty. We do these things for weight loss and because we know they are supposed to be healthy. Experts recommend two and a half hours of moderate activity per week. Brisk walking is considered a moderate activity. Huh, walking. That doesn't seem so bad. If we walked every day for 21 and a half minutes, we'd meet the recommendation. If we played a rousing game of pickleball, we might knock out the physical activity recommendation in one day. It doesn't take much to reap physical, and emotional benefits from exercise. If these numbers do seem daunting, and you're, you're not alone, and many researchers and doctors see you, if you can't complete two and a half hours per week, that's okay. Any movement, any, is better than no movement. Start small and see where it takes you. Now, if we are happy with our physique and our health seems impeccable without physical activity, What's the point? Why is it still so important to exercise? I want you to imagine saving up to buy your favorite car. You get it. It's beautiful. It purrs like a kitten. You have decided to take care of this car like it were your baby because you want it to last a long time. So you religiously get the oil changed every 3,000 miles, maybe less. You rotate the tires, forbid passengers from eating in the car. Yes, folks, this person definitely does not have children. (laughs) You take care of this car per the recommendations because you value it and you want it to last. Now, imagine the car is your body. Your body is a modern day miracle. It is the epitome of sound engineering. Take your heart, for instance. It is a mechanical pump run by electricity. People live to be over 100 years old, and often they motor through life with one beautiful heart. I think the oldest person right now is 116 years old. God has created a masterpiece, and that masterpiece is you. So following the metaphor, let's be sure to get our bodies tuned up, give it the proper fuel it needs, and treat it with pride. One of the ways we can do that is with physical activity. The heart is a muscle, and taking a brisk walk strengthens that muscle. Yesterday, I challenged you all to keep your cell phones out of your bedroom at night, and today, I want to challenge you to move more. I'll be accepting this challenge right alongside you. Let's pray. Dear God, give us strength to move our bodies. Help us be proud of your creation and thus treat our bodies with the respect they deserve. We know it's hard. That's why we ask for your help. Thank you, Lord. Amen. See you tomorrow.